there's like a time before the pigeon and after the pigeon. Yeah. So it's like Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. So if the pigeon is Jesus Christ, do you think you're God? <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> Actually, I think there was a before BC and AD, right? Like before pigeon, after pigeon, I think. And for better or for worse, you know, like there's there's positives and negatives that came out after the pigeon. But there was a sneaker culture before pigeon. You know, I was part of that sneaker culture, and then after pigeon. The sneaker culture just became like a huge thing, like a huge culture onto itself. Um, and some people love that, and some people hate that. You know that that built so many businesses, so many cult, like magazines, blogs, like everything, like sort of spawned out of this worldwide attention. Before that, sneakerheads were just like a couple of geeky guys that like were really into collecting shoes. You know, um, so. I don't know, for better or for worse, but I definitely don't consider myself God just because of the pigeon. You know, before that, before that, sneakerheads would look at a collection from a brand and then pick out the key pieces. Or key pieces would come out on their own because of something that happened maybe with like an athlete or maybe, a, you know, something natural within the company, right? Um, the problem is now, because of sneaker heads and sneaker culture now as you said companies are are making collections just for sneaker heads and sneaker cultures but that's not what sneaker heads deep down really want you know it's successful in the short term because it's exciting it's new and those new sneaker heads like the new guys that came they feel like oh man that that neon pink hot orange aqua you know Nike is like that's cool and they only made 30 pieces that I gotta have one you know but like the old school sneakerheads like that's a very quick thing it, you know it just goes away very quickly it's very trendy